Yo, what is up, Ape Fam Lottery Stocks here. We are back with another quick AMC video. I wanted to give you a nice update on to what is going on and a couple things that I think are huge news for AMC and I kind of wanted to go over. So the first thing that we're going to get right into, well, real quick, hit that like button on the video, but real quick, we're going to get into, I seen this posted by Benji and I didn't want to like make it a super long thing, but I am going to put it in the video. So go check out Benji's channel. But I just wanted to check out this because I actually did trade on E-Trade and I'm slowly still pulling out my portfolio on there to switch everything into Webull. But 800% margin requirements to short AMC and GME using E-Trade. This is from today. Now, what, what is happening? I'm going to read this, but just know that this is only E-Trade. This is also only speculation. He doesn't show any proof that it's actually an e-trade member but it does look like it from what i know about e-trade so pretty much he says okay then can you just tell me what the margin requirements are for amc and gme if there is a hard to borrow i'm not sure about hard to borrow but i can certainly check the margin requirements for shorting them please note that the margin requirements can change yes i am aware for shorting gme the requirement is 800 percent and for amc it is also 800 percent now what would this mean in terms of why a broker themselves would make it 800 percent well pretty much what it looks like to me is that the brokers come down to the down to the line down to the wire they want to have their back first their that is their main priority they have their back before they have their boys back stuff like that it's just simple common sense so what's happening is the broker is seeing at least e-trade is seeing that it is a very, very, it's very, you have like huge stupidity to short AMC and GME stock. And that's why they're saying you need a very high margin requirement because we don't want to have to back up what, what you lose on the table. You know what I'm saying? If they run out of liquidity shorting this, this stock, we're going to have to back them up on it. And this stock is not a smart stock to short. We don't want to have their back on just a regular 800% um, margin requirement. No, we need to at least up it up the ante, and they upped it to 800%, which I think is really cool. And like like I said before, the news that comes out has been either neutral or bullish or apish. It's never on the downside because there is no downside. We buy and hold, and we win. Now, the next thing I wanted to go over is the fails to deliver in June. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, and 14th of June. You guys seen the prices right here. Now, whether wherever these failures to deliver come actually in from, because not all of these is, is from naked shorting. But out of speculation, out of speculation, it is very likely that a lot of these are through naked shorts. Because... As you guys can see, when it jumped from 32 to $62 in share price, they added another 4 million plus failure to delivers just on the day alone. So if you guys want to take this, save this to your phone, whatever you want to do with this, go check this out. And also the last thing I wanted to just go over is the bullish pennant that we have been seeing forming today. When do we see a breakout? I would say in the next few days. Um, this week it is possible for a breakout, but... Honestly, we would like to see it on Monday just because, all right, I'll tell you, I'll tell you the best case scenario we would see obviously would go straight up, but the best case scenario we would see is a clean break through 62, clean break through 65, take us back to retest that $72 level. And then where we go from there is where we, is where we go from there, right? Whether we get carried by the apes, we get carried by the options chain, whether they're they're they try and naked short and bring the stock down again after this breakout i don't see i haven't seen a reason for them to try and take the stock down ever since we broke 15 bucks i have no idea why they're digging the deeper hole that's just it that's just them all right so whether they try and short us down again i have no idea why they would do that i don't know they're they're just gonna have to cover that's that's the reasoning right we buy hold doesn't cost us money they gotta cover Let's get it, apes. Hit that like button. Lottery stocks out. We gon' get to this battle. We focus on coming, but trapping the zone that we got. All of us gon' make your one day like church.